Hey guys, Labor98 here, and I'm going to bring you this video. It's not actually going to be about Warhammer 4000 Space Marine. It's going to be about PlayStation Plus and how amazing it has become in the last six months or so. Uh, first of all, a little backstory uh, with PlayStation Plus uh, regarding myself. When I first heard about it at the PlayStation conference, was it last year, the year before, a couple years ago, whatever. Uh, I thought it was a neat idea. It could come into something neat could become something new or whatever but I didn't think they'd be able to really do what they wanted to do which you know give free games or whatever for a basically a service fee uh, but I have to admit that what they have done and especially now with the announcement of E3 uh, of the 12 free games they've done quite a bit and uh, even with the 12 free games they've still done plenty like I have I don't know how many uh, games from PlayStation Network, either free or through their their discount for PlayStation Plus subscribers. But I have so many games that I mean, now I actually had to upgrade my hard drive, or I did it about maybe a month ago or a couple weeks ago, or whatever, to a one terabyte hard drive because I had so many games now, and I didn't really want to re-download everything, delete and re-download and so on. So. I bought the one terabyte hard drive and then what does Sony do? They go out and give these 12 free games, some of which are like 10 to 15 gigabytes. <laughs> you know, oh man, I mean, like, geez, I'm gonna need like, I mean, terabytes and terabytes of hard drive. I'm gonna need like a whole new PlayStation just for, just to, you know, store these games. But anyway, uh, for those who are not in the know, basically what PlayStation Plus is, it, it is a subscription based program. Uh, you can get it in three or twelve month uh, paid subscriptions, and uh, uh, during these months that you have the subscription, they give free games, free avatar pictures, free uh, wallpapers, dynamic wallpapers, as well as discounts to DLC, other games, and so on. Uh, sometimes, some months they go nuts and they give like freaking like a whole collection of I think it was. What was it? Uh, Crash Bandicoot or Spyro or something? And then other times, you know, give one or two higher, like, more recent games. I don't want to say higher quality because, you know, the Spyro and the Crash Bandicoot games of old are actually very good. But, you know, they give newer, newer releases, like Trying to and so on. Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty cool. Then they go crazy with these 12 free games, uh, of which is uh, Virtual Fighter 5, and by the way, yes, I do have them listed here. Uh, Infamous 2, Little Big Planet 2, Ratchet & Clank, All for One. Uh, this game here, Warhammer 4000 Space Marine, Just Cause 2, Saints Row 2, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light, Hardcore Uprising, Choplifter HD, Zombie Apocalypse, Never Die Alone, which I was actually going to buy, and thank God I didn't. Uh, Side Sideway New York. So those are like the 12 free games available now. Uh, Amazing, amazing. That's all I can really say about that. But uh, you know, I give a lot of, lot of, uh, you know, a lot of praise for Steam, and and Steam's amazing too. Like they give, you know, not maybe not free games, but they give friggin' you must say they give you the games for free because like, you can get games for like five bucks that normally cost you thirty dollars on the consoles, if not more. So I mean, I love the Steam sales, but at the same time, I have to give. Sony and PlayStation, they're due. I mean, uh, as far as consoles concerned, I don't think any 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 service, whether it's Xbox Live or the Wii Store or whatever it's called, the Wii Shop, none of those can really compete with what Sony has has done here, in my opinion. Uh, and I, I love and for I love Xbox Live when it comes to uh, how do I say that? One thing I I, I miss from Xbox Live because I used to play a lot of Xbox Live and stuff is I miss how quick and responsive the menu system was on there uh, when you're playing online you can uh, cross chat and, and things of like that so, stuff that they still haven't done on PlayStation uh, PlayStation 3 but I mean I love that aspect of it and I like how you know overall how responsive it is to uh, talk to the community the voice chat is top-notch quality uh, you know things like that but at the same time I didn't really feel it was worth you know you know the five dollars that they asked for for this you know for for the uh, uh, Xbox Live now if they would have offered something like this I would probably still be on Xbox 
or playing exclusively on Xbox. Because while I do love PlayStation exclusives, uh, I primarily got my PlayStation, as I've mentioned countless times before, for Uncharted. And, uh, you know, Killzone, which to me, to be honest with you, was kind of a disappointment. Uh, but that was more, I think, due to my expectations, expectations of, and what people have been t telling me online and stuff like that, listening to them maybe a little too much, and uh, therefore being somewhat disappointed. Uncharted, on the other hand, has fully lived up to my expectations. All three were amazing games, although the third one a little, you know, uh, not as great as the second one, but still great games. Uh, but without a doubt, the PlayStation Plus has fully... Uh, maybe a ha happy PlayStation owner, and uh, uh, you know I have to definitely give them their due for that. Anyways, so let might, might as well talk about this game here now. Uh, this is uh, you know Warhammer 4000 Space Marine. I'm not a fan, or rather, I'm not all that familiar with the Warhammer series. Although I think it was a, a RTS uh, strategy game, so uh, I might have to check that out because I'm usually a fan of like certain RTSs, like. Uh, uh, more like the noob friendly Command and Conquer and uh, uh, more action RTSs like uh, Company of Heroes, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is by Relic, which who makes also uh, Company of Heroes. So if I like Company of Heroes, then I might like uh, uh, their uh, the Warhammer RTSs. So I'll have to give that a check, maybe on Steam sale or whatever. Hopefully, we can get something like that. Uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, this game here is basically, as you can really tell, has a lot of influences from Gears of War. And in my opinion, it's basically uh, Gears of War, but not as polished, you know, which to, is to be expected, because I'm sure Gears of War has a far massive budget compared to this game. Uh, but with that being said, I mean, it's, I had a lot of fun playing this, and actually, I'm going to go back. I, this right here is like the first little bits of the game, literally the first bits of the game. And uh, I'm definitely going to go back to it after uh, doing this commentary, uh, get some more uh, trophies and stuff like that. But overall, I think it's, it's a decent game and definitely worth the money, which I paid for, which is basically nothing. Because when you come, when you think about it, like PlayStation Plus, you know, okay, technically you are renting the game, you're not given the game. Because how it works is basically throughout your subscription, you can download these games, but you don't actually own them. Uh, uh, basically, if you uh, stop your subscription with PlayStation Plus, you do, you do not no longer have access to the games that you got for free. You do still have access to the games you got as a discount that you've purchased yourself. You do keep the wallpapers and the avatar picks and, and things like that. But as far as the games are concerned, the free games, uh, they're no longer accessible from your PlayStation 3 until you renew your PlayStation Plus subscription. So, uh, which is actually pretty good. I mean, it, if for whatever for whatever reason one month you don't have the money to, uh, uh, you know, pay the fifty bucks to renew your subscription, you have peace of mind knowing that you can wait until next month, uh, you know, to renew that and still keep access to all the games that you got and, and on your previous subscription, which is great. Uh, but anyways, uh, other game that I. And I haven't downloaded all the games yet of the 12 free ones because, like, like, like I said earlier in the video, it's so massive. Some of these games, like 15 gigabytes and stuff, which is, you know, Grand Theft Auto 4 kind of big, you know, when it comes to Steam PC games. And I don't want to go two nuts all in one shot. And I, he I heard that the PlayStation Network was actually down earlier uh, this afternoon. Uh, thankfully, it, it didn't, didn't mess around with the uh, download, so if you're already in PlayStation, or on the P on PSN and you're already downloading, it doesn't interrupt your downloads, which is great because uh, one feature I do like on PlayStation is you can uh, tag all the downloads you want to do, uh, click on turn off console or turn off system or whatever, and then uh, once your downloads are finished, it, it completely shuts it down. So that's what I did this morning, or last night rather, and uh, when I came on, everything appeared to be fine, but it turned out it was because you know, early in the afternoon or whatever, they had some downtime or whatever. And I have, I'm almost positive it had a lot to do with these p people like myself downloading all these f amazing free games. So, uh, yeah, definitely check out PlayStation Plus. You know, I hear there's, it definitely has a lot of haters as well, but I mean, I don't know how you can hate on this. I mean, it's definitely a great service. As someone who wasn't a huge fan of Sony, I have to admit, uh, they've really impressed me. Uh, 
definitely in the later later stages of the of PlayStation 3 and and what they've done with the PlayStation Network. They could definitely use some improvements. One thing I don't uh, like particularly, besides not having cross game chat and things like that, is uh, it seems like the, the simplest things that they don't do or they don't think of. Like for instance, like I have all of these games in my PlayStation uh, menu, you know, in my PlayStation dashboard or whatever. But they don't allow you to do simple thing like sort by alphabetical order, which is a, which is annoying to me because I love everything that I do, all my game collections, all my movie collections, music, it's all in alphabetical order. I'm someone who's like that; it annoys me to no end. Uh, you can alleviate some of that a little bit by uh, uh, using the albums because to do allow you to sort by albums. So what I do is I I put like all the A's and all the A B C's or whatever games into A, B, C folders and then sort by album but even still in the actual A, B, C folders it's it's still not in alphabetical order so it still annoys me although it's kind of a little easier to tolerate and it's something I wish they would definitely fix but uh, I mean other than that I mean as far as PlayStation Plus is concerned definitely uh, definitely uh, great Anyways, that's basically it. Until next time, this is LeBurn98 sending out. Gonna upload some more videos, uh, including Daisy tonight, I think, as well as this one. So take care, guys. See ya.